So here we go again. This is another eye tracking test. This time I'm using a face mask on my model and a hoodie and we're in low light. You can see it's 8000 ISO, 1 1 60th of a second F2.8. So there you go. This is uh, just one quick capture from Nikon Studio NX. Now this is a direct video recording of my viewfinder and I'm just getting her to, you know, test out the autofocus system because people have said I made it too easy before. The tests weren't valid. So hopefully this is a little more challenging in people's mind. A hoodie, some hair over the eyes, a mask. She's turning back and forth. It's low light. She's going to start bobbing and weaving. And let's just see how this tracks. And you can see that focus box. It's working hard to stick with her. And she's going to start covering her eyes back and forth. And in a moment or two, I'll start taking a burst. I take a burst of 71 shots. She's going to pull her hoodie off. And you'll see that in action as well. And I'll play back the stills frame by frame really quickly this time. I don't want to drag this out longer than necessary. 20 minutes is just too much. This is only four minutes. So here we go. She's going to dip down in a second and come out of focus totally because there's just going to be nothing there. Here we go and back and the camera grabs her eye again. Here we go. Now I'm shooting my burst. So you can see the remainder counting down. 71 frames, JPEGs. And here we go, step by step. Now, just to clarify this, this is a video capture of the display of the camera. This is not the resolution of the images. So if it's a little bit uh, low res, that's because that's all the viewfinder is putting out or the back screen is putting out and it's a direct video capture. I'll show you a couple of stills later on, but I don't see any point of going through 71 stills frame by frame at 100%. It doesn't, for those that are skeptics and want to complain, it makes no difference to them. For those that get it and understand what the camera is able to do, a couple of frames prove it. And there's lots more, of course. It's not just two frames. So here we go. Coming out of it. She's moving around a bit. The eyes are closed. The eyes are open. You know, you can see she's moving. Still got her mask on. And there is a close-up of one of the shots from Nikon Studio NX. You can see what that focus box is. Just like the back of the camera in the viewfinder show. There's the face box because she's looking down. The eyes aren't totally visible. Last time I made the joke about eyelash focus, uh, it was a joke. The camera's focusing on the eye, and yes, the eyelashes will be sharp because of depth of field. But here we go again. Again, just that quick, quick back to that video capture off the right from the camera's feed. You can see what the box is doing. And it's working it through for you. So I hope that gives you a better idea of what the uh, Z series are capable of doing. This is firmware 1.3 in the Z62, but the Z72 is the same. And I wouldn't doubt the Z6 and Z7 are very similar. So does it work? I think so. If you don't like it, there's other brands. You can go there. No sense telling us Nikon users that the other brand is better. Just go use the other brand. It's really cool. Use a camera that you like. That's what it's all about. And We'll wrap it up here for this time.